next guest found a surprise new hobby. Sarah Burr started playing pickleball. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's a combination of tennis, ping pong and badminton played with paddles on a badminton sized court. And for the mother of two, it's getting pretty serious after winning singles and doubles titles across Australia and internationally. She's now looking to turn pickle pro. Wow, it almost sounds like the platypus of sports. Sarah joins us now. Good morning to you, Sarah. What drew you to the sport of pickleball? Good morning. Um, I just fell in love with the energy of the sport. Um, I found something that I could play again after playing, uh, having some time off tennis for a couple of decades. I found something that I could jump right back into, made a whole heap of new friends, got fit and healthy again. I was able to play something with my husband and my children. And yeah, it's just so fast paced and energetic and I just, I love it. Also, you must have been lured by the name. I mean, excellent yeah. name for a sport. <laughs> What's the genesis of the name? It's a pretty crazy name. name. Um, I actually think it's got a couple of, um, there's a couple of myths around it. Apparently it was a couple of friends playing in a backyard. Um, the kids were bored so they pulled out a couple of different sporting equipment from the garage and apparently there was a dog that used to play with a wiffle ball called Pickles. Love it. And oh, love allegedly it. that's where the name came from, the dog Pickles. That's <laughs> so brilliant. One of many stories. What, what do people say to you when you say, oh, actually I'm, I'm busy with my pickleball so I won't be able to come to that event? Uh, yeah, I get a lot of strange looks and um, particularly when it's like I'm leaving my job, I'm pulling my kids out of school, my husband's uh, leaving his business behind to go to America to chase um, pickleball. Uh, they think I'm That's a little bit, like, bit wild, but I uh, quickly get them down to the courts and then they see what I'm onto and they, they see why I'm, I'm doing this. Love it. <laughs> Amazing. You were a really promising tennis player as, as a child. Uh, give us, a, uh, for the people who haven't played it, what, what is it actually like out there? Is it really a hybrid of those three sports? It really is. Um, so um, you obviously use the skills like the, the hand eye coordination skills from tennis. Um, you're hitting a ball over a net, you're doing volleying, you're doing smashes like tennis. Uh, but you're obviously it's a smaller court so you don't need to move as much if you don't want to, which is good. Um, and obviously the table tennis grips and things help as well. So the, the fast hands from table tennis so those of us with um, failing all come bodies. together. Oh, yeah. um, it's much easier on the body. I oh, mean yeah, it's great for Absolutely, yeah. So you can be tall, short, thick, thin, old, young, um, you know, in a wheelchair. You can have, a, we've got people with artificial limbs playing and you can all play together. That's the best part. You can have yeah. three generations on the court at the one time. And it seems that, that it is so social that the doubles are more popular than yeah. the singles. So it, you have this sort of camaraderie exactly right. feel, do you? Absolutely, yeah, we have a great time out there. We've made friends, uh, you know, people from all walks of life coming together. Like you said, you're, you're, cl you're close together on the court, so you, you're talking more. Whereas in tennis, I find it's more um, about singles, um, where this is very much a, a team sport. Um, yeah, just meeting people, having a great time. It's a silly name sport, so you're having, you know, silly fun. Uh, but obviously it can turn serious as well when you, you know, especially when you're heading over to America and things like that. It's, it's uh, quite a serious sport now, which is uh, where I'm headed, which you, is very, you very have exciting. Turned serious. Very serious. Let's talk about your pickleball panache <laughs> because uh, you're heading to the States. Uh, what, what's on the cards uh, in the US? Uh, yeah, so I'm training at the moment sort of four to six hours a day um, on the courts you see behind me here. I'm getting ready to play in the Major League Pickleball. So um, a whole range of celebrities wow. in the US have uh, purchased teams. Um, so wow. my team is actually owned by NBA star Devin Booker. We've got Michael Phelps, the swimmer. We've got a country music star, Dirk Bentley, and Larry Fitzgerald, who's an NFL player. They're my team owners. So I'm literally getting phone calls and emails from their executive assistants wow. organizing my accommodation and travel um, to go go over to Arizona and uh, play. I'm a drafted player on their team. So Get out of town. to think I'm a 36 year old mum, oh. um, I'm getting these phone calls from these amazing stars is just mind blowing. <laughs> Love it, Sarah. Well, congratulations, you deserve it. Enjoy and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much for the time today. Love. And everyone needs to come and try pickleball, please. You'll have a great time. I can't time. wait to. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. We should hit Let's the pickleball